I was watching one of our previous videos myself, uh, the one about the firewall, and I noticed that uh, during the uh, section about the firewall uh, chains, I mentioned that uh, the action jump is for another video. So, well, this is that video. I'll briefly explain to you what is uh, the action jump in firewall. So, let's con connect to a router. Uh, I have firewall in the section filter rules. When I create new rules, um, I must select the chain. We have standard chains, forward input and output, as previously explained in that firewall video I mentioned. I will link it somewhere here in the video too. Um, but what I told you that time is that you can create uh, rules and specify a custom chain or uh, a custom group of, uh, for these rules. Now, where would that be useful? Well, for example, you might want to create all kinds of uh, limitations for a specific user. Uh, now, let's do that for this example. So, uh, I would like to block TCP port um, 22, for example, uh, action drop. Uh, but I only want to apply these rules to a certain user or a certain device in my network. So I will call it um, I will call my chain example. So my example chain will contain this rule uh, TCP port 22 action drop. Okay, uh, so here it is. Uh, we can create a copy we can then change something, we can uh, block uh, some other port, let's block uh, mm, port 8080 for example. Then I would like to create another rule, also TCP, destination port 443, and maybe I want to specify uh, a TLS host, let's say Facebook. And I can continue and add all kinds of limitations. So now that I have created all these rules with the chain example, um, they will not be executed right away. Uh, uh, what I need to do is create first a rule in the forward chain with a, for example, a source address 192.168.88.10, which will be our, um, let's say, victim that we will be blocking with this rule. And we will then make the action jump and we will jump to the example chain. And now only this specific IP address will be targeted uh, and we will put that uh, jump rule here in, in the first place. So what will happen now is that uh, whenever the firewall goes through these rules and sees that, well, source address is this one, we will jump to the example chain and then we will apply all these limitations. And you can of course uh, open up this rule, make a copy and uh, make a jump rule for another IP address like that. And now only these two IP addresses will um, will jump to the example chain and for example if you would have like 50 different kinds of uh, block rules uh, it would be easier to make only uh, two or three jump rules uh, and you will not have to duplicate uh, all the drop rules for each and every IP address that you want to um, limit in, in this way. What you can also do is, for example, you have these uh, IP addresses here for each of your customers or each of your users in your network, and maybe you only want to enable or disable uh, these limitations uh, for certain times of day or for uh, certain situations. So now if you just disable this jump rule, now the 88.12 user is free to visit uh, all these um, websites and Facebook and the port 22 as he pleases and if you enable this one rule now he's being blocked again and you don't have to uh, disable and enable large chunks of um, uh, rules so it's very simple that's the jump rule see you next time